Okay, mm-hmm. first of all, congratulations for uh, getting the rank in civil services examination. Thank you, sir. And it was your fourth attempt. Yes, sir. In earlier two attempts, you had ish, uh, struggles with uh, prelims. Yes. Sir. Especially CSAT. Yes, sir. And then uh, you wrote mains in your third yes, sir. attempt, but uh, couldn't clear the mains. And this particular time, you have cleared all the stages. Okay, uh, can you please tell me something about yourself, from which place you come from? What is your uh, background? What is your socio-economic background? Something like that. Uh, sir, I am from Palani in Dindical district of Tamil Nadu. And uh, my father, uh, he is a shopkeeper. And my mother, she is a housewife, sir. I did my entire schooling from Palani. And thereafter, I did my graduation from Agriculture College and Research Institute, Kilikulam in Tutukurin district. Since 2018, I have been preparing for civil services, sir. Okay. And you are coming from a place, I believe there are no uh, study materials, all those uh, things which are available in Delhi. Have you uh, not thought of going to Delhi? Yes, sir. Uh, maybe in my first attempt, I had this idea like I should be going to Delhi and prepare. But then my parents told me like uh, we can try it from Chennai. So I took a coaching from a private institute for one year. And then COVID struck us and I came back to my home. Uh, thereafter, I have been following a lot of online resources, especially uh, today we can find online material particularly needed for a subject alone. We, uh, we need not enroll in the entire course. If there is a particular subject, we can take it, sir. So I was using that. So I did not have this uh, idea of going back to Delhi or preparing from there. Okay. And there is a thing that uh, uh, when you are staying away from this hub of Delhi, especially this uh, hub where many candidates go. So there is a feeling, you know, something I might be missing in this journey and we call it FOMO, fear of missing out, right? So uh, when we see candidates like you who were not there in Delhi and you have prepared from your home, so I I believe it, uh, it will give a hope to other candidates that even they can prepare from home and after COVID, I believe things have changed. Online uh, things have started. So it is helping many. Over here, in your first attempt and second attempt, you didn't clear the prelims. Yes. Can you please tell me that what kind of mistakes you have committed in your initial attempts? Because of that, you were not able to clear this particular stage. Uh, sir, I think in my first attempt, I had this pressure like I should clear the exam in the very first attempt. So because of that, uh, there was so much pressure on me rather than I, uh, I did not work out on any particular strategy. So that ultimately backfired in my preliminary stage. And uh, during my second attempt, it was uh, from my second attempt, I came to know about SOMP, sir, uh, since 2019. So, so many messages uh, were sent by you, uh, long messages were sent, sir. There you were sharing your experiences mm-hmm. and some motivational lines, like how mm-hmm. students can be... Um, uh, I mean, how students can be confident about clearing prelims. And you were discussing like there are some particular strategies for clearing prelims. So that definitely helped in my second attempt. Uh, mm. I did the confidence and that helped me in the GS path. But when it came to CSAT, yeah. uh, I failed uh, in my first attempt and also in my second attempt, especially mm. because of the fear of CSAT. Uh, CSAT is just another paper, but I had this fear. So I did not attempt maximum questions in my second attempt. I still remember I attempted only 23 questions in my second attempt, sir. That was only 23. Blunder. Yes, sir, only 23 questions. That was a major blunder at that time. Coming to the prelims, uh, as as you have said that uh, during the initial attempt, we feel that we'll give only one attempt, we'll clear the exam, we'll get the card up, everything is over. And uh, this is somewhere I feel that is a part of misguidance as well as on the part of the candidate there is a lack of patience right so we are in rush and we believe that we are coming from some college some uh, big colleges and we have been very good in academics so civil services is what we'll clear and there was one message which was uh, circulating in some of the groups and they were saying that in civil services examination a topper is getting only 50 percent of the marks 
why can't i get it i will achieve 60 or 70% of the marks and i will uh, set a record the upsc but i believe understanding the pattern of the exam is very important in the initial attempts am i right on this yes sir yes sir it is definitely true sir uh, because uh, i'll tell my tell my own experience sir. earlier when i used to see the interview marks of toppers i thought that why they are scoring 180 out of 275 and personally when i am going for interview at that time only i was able to face the real pressure and then i felt okay this fine so everything when looking from outside the box it looks like everything is fine when we are within the arena it's different sir and coming to the prep if we divide the prep in uh, content part solving the mock making the notes can you please elaborate on that that how you have cleared the prelims after filling two times in the prelims Uh, so in my uh, first two attempts in my first attempt though i attended a lot of mock tests i never revised the mock tests hmm. and in my second attempt i was focusing so much on gs and i was able to identify the strategy for uh, gs but then csat i was not able to do that i did not uh, give equal time for both uh, gs and csat sir that was a major mistake and uh, during my third attempt i had a clear idea of how to uh, work out on gs like the previous year questions they were the key for the uh, general studies paper and there were so much uh, repetitive questions apart from uh, repetitive questions the uh, pattern of the question and the pattern of hmm. options were also very important sir identifying them from the previous year questions and repeatedly practicing them that helped me in my third attempt and also in my fourth attempt sir uh when it comes to test series in my three attempts i was taking test series for prelims but in my fourth attempt i did not take any test series sir i just uh, purchased the material for our test and was practicing it and for mains in my third attempt uh, uh i i was actually regretting my uh, attempt in, uh, attempting mains in the third attempt sir because third attempt i did not have any clear strategy for mains hmm. i also had the intention like i would not go and attend the mains examination okay so compulsion i went and took the examination i had no preparation and hmm. i think it led to only 662 marks uh, in my fourth attempt i was practicing answer writing before prelims sir uh, i took this mgp course and i was doing uh, hmm. uh, answer writing before okay. prelims but in the time frame between prelims and mains i did not take any test series i never wrote a test for mains i think that was also one reason for low score in this year mains as well sir and when we fail in the prelims some of the time we uh, feel that only clearing the prelims has to be the main 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 goal and once we clear the prelims we are like this mains is bigger than the prelims because when uh, there are two kind of talks proper one is saying that you have to pr- prepare for a longer time you have to make the notes you have to solve the test this and this and there is another topper who says within two months i feel it what is this examination and when we don't prepare for the mains we are like this man is right this first man is not right right so somewhere we feel that, that uh, we will clear the mains even after the prelims so what kind of challenges you have faced during the mains uh, sir your asked. first mains yes sir uh, in my first so mains you, uh, so you were sure that you are clearing the prelims you were sure that prelims is cleared and during that time that particular time when you were looking for what to do now what kind of things were going on in your mind and how you have uh, so during my first mains i did not have any idea about mains i have taken uh, test series earlier for mains but then i did not know how to prepare for the upcoming mains as, as there was only a limited time of around uh, 90 days it was around 100 days i think sir at that time so i did not have any clear idea i did not know how to balance between uh, the general studies paper and then the uh, uh, optional paper sir uh, but however during this mains i tried to identify the mistakes which i committed earlier so i was focusing on identifying the areas where i could perform well like uh, gs2 i was able to perform well i was focusing on that and gs4 i performed worse in my earlier mains sir so i was focusing okay. on it similarly i was giving some time for optional sir hmm. and during that particular time when you don't have a strategy you were like let's not go for the mains it's yes. over right yes and uh, coming from the uh, for the optional part have you prepared that during 2018 or uh, 
during that uh, particular time or you have done it after the prelims uh, in your third attempt uh, uh, no sir my optional was history so i was preparing it since 2018 sir um, i think optional cannot be prepared in a short period of time it has to be hmm. done along with the preparation sir and can you please elaborate that how you chose this particular uh, optional because there are lot of uh, options available in front of the candidate yes uh, sir actually my graduation was from bsc agriculture so everyone had given me to go for agriculture as option uh, but in my college i was more accustomed to reading uh, pdfs or materials which are shared by my professors i did not have the experience of uh, reading standard books directly hmm. from the libraries so i had a short of uh, self doubt whether i could uh, take agriculture as an optional and uh, get through the mains but then while looking into other subjects i felt history was uh, more my cup of tea because uh, in my school days also i enjoyed reading history so now uh, while looking into the previous year questions i was uh, feeling uh, more okay with history and i went for history as my optional sir so uh, when i was doing coaching in a private institute hmm. uh, history optional was also done uh, for the one year sir but still then that was not sufficient i had to uh, look into other materials and some online uh, particular uh, uh, areas like map coverage which i have to hmm. look to online materials only sir and can you please tell me that uh, if someone is preparing for the mains then how to divide the time how much time to be given for the gs then optional then answer writing and in some of the cases people don't write essay so their first essay they write in Yes, I believe you have done this thing in third attempt. Yes, sir. I did. Uh, I did do this in my third attempt uh, in my essay, sir. And then I ended up with one not five in essay. But during this attempt, I was okay. Like my essay scores were okay. But again, I should uh, uh, hmm. rectify it more. So I was focusing on essay even before the prelims. So before prelims, uh, I wrote around some eight to nine essays. and i got it evaluated by my friends who are currently in service sir. and they were giving some feedback how to improvise on it and when it comes to uh, 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 dividing the time between general mm-hmm. studies and optional between prelims and mains or prior to that i never had this time frame in a particular day sir like i would allot 3 days for general studies and 2 days mm-hmm. for optional or 3 days for main or uh, 3 days for optional that was my plan sir so i didn't have any particular time frame in a day okay uh can you please tell me that if someone is just uh, starting the prep now what kind of advices you will give to that particular candidate and what kind of mistake one should avoid at any cost so first thing uh, whoever is starting their preparation uh, they should only be focusing on how they are improvising on each day rather than comparing themselves with a topper who has cleared in the first attempt or a topper who has cleared in the uh, sixth or seventh attempt first they should know that and they were they should work on improvising themselves sir and um, so the second question uh, uh the advices like how to begin your journey how to make the strategy and so on uh, yes sir uh second thing is uh, they can uh, they can look into topper talks but and then they should identify their own strategy sir and uh, when when it comes to mistakes uh, there should not be any lethargical attitude uh, when uh, choosing a subject for their optional or when preparing for their optional sir because initially in my attempts i was uh, like okay if i am uh, writing some 10 points in my mains i would generally be getting an answer, uh, getting some marks but that was a mm-hmm. major factor in mains we should be focusing on giving particular facts uh, data or figures and these things should be uh, prepared even before the prelims sir uh, the time frame between prelims and mains should be used only for revising that and uh, most important thing is uh, we should be very serious about the preparation in mm. my third attempt i still regret uh, having given a very uh, careless answers in my third mains so carelessness is, should not be with any aspirants and uh, when you do such such kind of thing so you lose one particular attempt and one attempt means one and en- entire year and the kind of energy you have in your uh, initial attempts with the successive attempt you keep keep on uh, degrading the same right yes sir what kind of personal challenges you have faced while preparing for this particular 
exam like you are making a plan and you are like this plan is gone now let me make another plan another plan anything of that sort can you please elaborate uh, yes sir uh, in my first year of preparation from 2018 to 19 i was like i should focus only on upsc and when, mm. the, when i was not able to clear the prelims people started uh, advising me like you should try some other examinations so along with upsc i was also writing other examinations Hmm. Um, I did clear group four in two thousand nineteen, sir. But then in counselling, I I did not get a seat. Then IPBS, I also tried that. I cleared the prelims and then I failed in the main stage, sir. So thereafter, uh, so many people were advising me to try for TNPSC and quit UPSC. Hmm. But then my father, he was uh, encouraging me like you started for preparing UPSC. If you know you are able to clear that, then keep on moving. So I was self evaluating me each and every time after the attempts. i was able to figure out the mistakes which i was commit, uh, committing in every attempt so i was working on that so i still believe that i could overcome the challenges and uh, recently also uh, along with as a backup plan i was giving tnpsc i cleared the mm-hmm. tnpsc prelims sir but then there okay. was only a short time between the mains of tnpsc mm-hmm. and upsc mm-hmm. i had to take mm-hmm. a tough decision between choosing either tnpsc <laughs> or upsc and people were advising me like tnpsc ha- is having a high probability of you clearing upsc but then i was like no no i started with upsc i'll try upsc so i quit tnpsc mains sir and uh, fortunately i was able to clear this so that was a major challenge even till the result i was worried if what uh, my name is not in the list people would again tell me like it was a blender for skipping the tnpsc mains and some of the time you have to choose yes. between the two choices and you have to accept the okay even if i will fail i wanted to go in this particular side because i know many candidates between pre and mains they write their state psc they write banking they write everything Yes. and mains is not prelims yes in the mains you have to devote 100% to your self only one thing you have to do prepare for the mains yes. even if you are giving some other examination even if you are not preparing for those examination your mental energy will be occupied that okay tomorrow i have to go tomorrow i have to go once you will come out you will check the answer key you will check this and this. eventually you don't know when four or five days are going Yes, sir. And if your exam went well, then there are expectations, and then that cycle continues. Yes, sir. Coming to the second part of the prep, have you made the notes? Yes, sir. Sorry. Notes, sir. notes. Have you made the notes for the prelims or mains? Mm-hmm. Uh, sir, for mains, uh, for uh, data, facts, and figures, sir, alone I made my own notes, sir. Other things I generally read from book. In book, I used to quote particular areas which I should be uh, reading repetitively, and other areas I don't highlight, sir. For optional, I had notes for my paper too alone. Okay. At one point of time, a uh, time come when we have uh, plenty of uh, material available, then a a candidate think that let me try this, let me see this. Have you faced the same kind of challenge? Yes, sir. In my uh, second and third attempt, I definitely faced this issue. I was reading so many materials. I was even purchasing materials. That itself created a biggest fear mm-hmm. of me. I was like, if I'm not able to complete this material, I'm going to fail in the prelims. But the third prelims was an eye opener, sir. Lot of materials which I purchased, I never read them. But still, then <laughs> I was able to clear the prelims. So I was okay. Like I should stick to only a particular uh, notes or a particular material. And that thing I followed in my fourth uh, attempt, sir, and that was uh, been successful also. This particular journey has been a long one, and still you have some friends or some uh, peer who have not cleared the examination. Can you please tell me what kind of advice you will give to them? Because now you are on other side. so one thing uh, like uh, someone told me this and i have been following that they told me like if deep inside you you clearly know that you will clear this exam one day then you can keep on moving at the same time uh, you should also be aware of what are the mistakes you have been committing so far and you should work out on it simply you are believing like you will clear but not working on the mistakes that will again uh, put you within the vcs cycle so we should identify the mistakes every time and if needed we can take the help of others also sir 
So from that, we need to work on, we need to learn, and then we can be uh, giving this exam, sir. Coming to the plan B part, even you were trying for some other examination. So, and you chose the civil services as your plan A. But some of the time I have seen that candidate when they go after the plan B, their plan B becomes their plan A. So, should we have a plan B or should we just stick to plan A? Sir, it is actually a tough question. A personal choice, of uh, course. Uh, yes, sir, it's a personal choice, sir. Uh, personally, uh, to me, uh, going for a plan B was because of people were telling me you should have a plan B, you should have a plan B. So just to convince them, I was having that. But uh, my plan A has always been my plan A. I never gave uh, precedence for plan B over my plan A, sir. Oh, oh yeah, thank you for your time. It has been uh, wonderful talking to you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.